bringing the people behind our food to life. Here is in transition, because my whole career has always been in transition. I went to work for a gentleman in Kansas City who I feel is my restaurant tour mentor. Forward thinking, very intelligent, uh, very good cook. I had much better cooks and mentors and maybe I even had better technique than he had, but as a restaurateur, learned a ton from what he did, especially about the sustainability piece that you can actually not just talk about connecting the local com communities and the local farmers with the clientele that you have, but how do you do that and how do you, why would you do that and what's that all about? First, it always boils back down to taste. If someone brought in something that was grown locally in a way that they took care of their own resources and land and said, here, taste this, you go, oh my God, that really tastes like a tomato. It's not cardboard red water, it's what a tomato should apparently, I guess, taste like. Oh look, that's absolutely fantastic, or a strawberry. So for me, why would you want to do it? It's because it tastes better. The other pieces of the, sort of the, the legs of the sustainability is it's good for local economies. If I buy from my local farmer and he goes and buys something else locally, and all this money stays regionally, locally, and exponentially feeds off of each other. And so we're protecting our local economies by keeping the money here instead of shipping it to another country or shipping it out to another state or anything else like that. Certainly environmentally, when people take care of their land in a certain way and grow things or ranch things in a way that's good for the environment and sustainable systems, the system is closed, we're not taking out more things than we're putting back into the way they do things. And the last piece is the social piece of it, is that we don't want to lose tastes and a lot of the history behind those tastes. I don't want to have to only have a yellow delicious or a red delicious apple. When you taste the range of different varieties of heirloom apples, they're absolutely amazing, but if all we grow in big monocultures are red delicious or yellow delicious, you, you lose that. There's the building. That's us least. The name of the restaurant is Terroir, T-E-R-R-O-I-R, Terroir Restaurant and Wine Bar. Terroir is a French word. It means earth or dirt in French. And I know we need a fan for the direct venting, for the wood-burning oven. Yeah. It's in one of the cut sheets, I know. Yeah, how big is it's it? generally um, a wine word that really means the taste of a place. Our tagline is the taste of the Pacific Northwest. I really want to show from the beverages, through the food, through the design of the restaurant, of what the Pacific Northwest is. I want you to walk in and feel that. I don't really like the word. I wish it was something that was extremely easy to say and didn't confuse with anything else and had some English translation word that was perfect for everybody else. But there's no other word that we found, or that I've found in talking with people, that really says this. And terroir was the word that said it the best. I don't want there to be any surprises. Oh, Expect so it's that it's going to be to here. Six feet from here? Yeah. It's taking all those tenets of sustainability as we talked about, environmental and economic and social and all this, and trying to really put it into practice without hitting you over the head and making you have to, you know, salute face west and bow to the god of sustainability. I really want you to come in because it tastes good and it's very comforting and, and you have an understanding of what we're trying to do, but it's, it's flavor based. So it really is the coming together to us of community, which is place and season and flavor and wine and taste, um, all in one particular spot. I just think it's the ability to try to bring it together and make it comforting and not hitting you over the head with it. It's just that you feel very comfortable because it's the coming together of place and season and time and all that stuff.